Welcome back, my friends from Algeria. On my channel, I'm a German rapper and reactor, and today I'm gonna take a look at another song by Lil Matt. And this artist was just on the channel with his new song, Patch. Uh, was an audio. This one, as far as I can see, is an audio as well. I didn't watch it yet. Mm. I had a lot of recommendations for this one. It's called 2000. And as this is a year probably meant uh, I think it's old school uh, you can already see the the player on screen so I think the whole thing is a little bit uh, the hook is the old school thing and um, we especially taken of course a look at uh, flow and rhymes in this one because uh, I don't understand the language by Elmad is uh, yeah he's the guy who making crazy flows he making like he's a phenomenal technical rapper and that's what we're gonna take a look at today you're gonna see my reaction after the intro. Let's start this audio and see what he's doing right here. This sounds a little bit like the whole the whole beat right here in the intro is uh, uh, with a with a kind of a radio filter or somewhere like it sounds like you're underwater, like there's some filter on the beat and uh, that makes it sound far further away, a little bit numb, right? <laughs> Oh wait a second, wait a second, class class A. But I mean, like when you say class A, does he mean the rapper, or is this just a, co a coincidence? Maybe it's just a coincidence. Okay, let's let's listen a little bit and and see. Anyway, the flow killer that's how you called him on my last reaction and i think that's really the case is really the case like it's not always about like making making the the fastest thing or the most complicated making like the flow in a way that um it's intended that you you have a certain effect while rapping because of the rhythm you use that's exactly what happens right here when Lil Matt is flowing he like like with with needles putting out the syllables and um Anyway, it's it's just a joy right here. I love it. He making basically a halftime flow, and putting in a couple of syllables on top, and um, there were one or two lines where basically every syllable rhymed on each other. That on top, like we can maybe we can listen again. <laughs> Like this one, did 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 every syllable rhymes on each other, right? And right here, he's going from this rhyme scheme into another one so fluently. Anyway. Anyway, this like this one right here is uh, uh he, he making like uh this 50 cent like party like it's your birthday and he making death day out of it like but he the way he emphasizes it's clear it's a 50 cent reference right here Okay, okay, okay. Well, you making right here, you making this this uh, um, 
is there is there a word for this kind of flow when when you go like dun 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 like always two syllables together like uh it's like you're making a triple flow but leave out every third syllable like this this is the kind of thing he making right here and that is pretty interesting he's he's making something similar right here with the triple flow but he only um where where could be three syllables he only makes one being like dun 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 right so you're making a, like the double you making just one syllable yeah. It's like this it's a little bit similar to what I said in the El Mad patch reaction. It's like um I mean I had the title more flow switches than the ocean and he's actually switching flows at least every four bars and sometimes within the four bars he's making even a new flow switch. And the thing is it might be diff difficult to to continue one flow scheme throughout the whole song. That is difficult. But as well what is difficult is to make to switch into new flow schemes so fluently and so frequently. Because uh usually you write some your lyrics like uh, in a way yeah I mean, you have you have to pay attention when you pay, have to pay attention to the flow the whole time, and you want to make the lyrics make sense in the end as well. That's I think that is pretty hard, and um, yeah, it's just I mean for for a rapper it's just awesome to listen to this. And hook again. And actually, I said in the beginning, it's it's probably old school. The beat is not really old school. Um, that's why a little bit confused me that we don't have an old school beat right here it's he, it's not an old school beat uh, but what is old school is the cover and these scratches right here in the end definitely Hello. okay man all right, I mean, hey, what should I say? It's just a joy to listen to this artist again and again because he is like a prime example of um, that you can listen to a foreign foreign music from another country. You don't understand the lyrics, but you can find so much value in that music. And El Matt is like the prime example for this. That you, it's just, yeah. Often when I listen to German rap, of course, like, for example, I'm not that hooked. Even if I still understand the lyrics, like, it's often like, okay, I, but I can't get so much value out of it, like in this case, for example. Um, yeah. Okay. If you want to check out some of my own music, you can do this right here on screen. Thank you very much. If you do so, I appreciate that a lot. Right above, you can find my reaction on the mad uh, patch that I went on last week. Maybe you want to see that reaction and I'm out.